Hello and Happy New Year to you. This is 2024. How about that? We have made it through 2023 and here we are at 2024. And today we begin a new topic for the month of January. And that topic is becoming like Jesus. <clears throat> Looking at how we are like Jesus in areas where we need to grow to be more like Jesus. I have a question for you. Who are you? Have you really thought about who you are? Not what you do, but who you are. Like if you're at a party at a gathering, somebody says, you know, tell me who you are. Do you automatically say, oh, I'm a pastor, or I work at such and such a place, or I'm a CPA, I have an MBA, any of those things. <clears throat> but is that really who you are? Who you are is the person that have beliefs and values and goals. That's who you are. <clears throat> if somebody was to ask me, who am I? I would say I'm a person of um, integrity, meaning that I will do the right thing even when others aren't listening or even when others aren't looking. Uh, I also believe in truth and honesty. Now we'll say that those things have been a journey for me to achieve because being more like Jesus is a journey, it's a process doesn't happen overnight. And so learning how to be honest, learning how to be truthful, learning how to be a person of integrity, <clears throat> those are all things that we strive to be, and I apologize for my throat, in our life. And those are things that uh, guide us more towards being like Jesus. Here we are at the beginning of a new year, a chance to become something different, something new, maybe something transformed in this year. And so I challenge us all, myself included, that as we go through this year, that we think about who are we in connection to Jesus? Are we like Jesus all the time? Or do we need to change some things about what we do or who we are to be more like Jesus? As a follower of Christ, we are to be more like him than like the world around us. Our new nature that we put on was put on to us when we said yes to following Christ. That's what it means to put on a new nature. I want to give you a scripture to think about. Ephesians 4, 22 through 24. To put away your formal, formal way of life, your old self, corrupt and deluded by its lusts, and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and to clothe yourselves with the new self, created according to the likeness of God, in true righteousness and holiness. That's who we are. That's who we are becoming holy and righteous in the eyes of God. None of necessarily in the eyes of the people around us. Yes, we are to live a good life and be like Christ to show people around us. But we're not to be a zealot about it and drive people crazy with being holy and righteous. You know who you are and God knows who you are. Just live your life that way and the others will know it as well. I hope this has blessed somebody. I hope that these words will carry you through today or whenever you watch them. And I will see you again uh, later on for me this evening and bring you another midweek man a moment from becoming more like Jesus. Take care and be blessed.